Hello internet world and welcome to a new video on the Geekanoise channel. This is a very cool monitor from Ymaxit. This is their external USB-C monitor. It also works with HDMI as well, but the fact that it works via USB-C is a really good feature. And I've currently got it connected to my 13-inch uh, MacBook Pro. This is the rest of the MacBook Pro, the touch bar. Now, you can obviously see the size difference in the monitors. This is slightly bigger at just over 15 inches, and it's a really good display, ultra thin. I'll give you a closer look at the profile of it in a short while. But I just wanted to show you the actual display quality. Now, I've got a photo here on uh, the external display. I just want to drag it back across to my MacBook Pro and show you it on the MacBook Pro. Uh, nice contrast, nice details, really nice colors. Uh, and I think the internal display on the MacBook Pro, as we probably all agree, is a very, very good display. If I drag it across to the Ymax it, I'm really impressed. Really nice colors again, uh, really good detail. This is a, a full HD panel, 1920 by 1080. Uh, and just a, a really good tonal quality. Uh, viewing angles are pretty good as well. Not fantastic, but pretty good. And uh, the, the whole experience I've had with this is really very impressive. Uh, use case scenarios, of course, in a setup like this, I've got an extended display. You could also use this for gaming. Uh, this will work with the likes of the Nintendo Switch, for example, as an external display, which would be awesome. Imagine if you're traveling, you wanna put this in your hotel room on, on the sort of dressing table in the hotel room or on the desk and have some larger screen gaming uh, while you're relaxing in the evening in the hotel room. Very, very cool indeed. Uh, so I'm just really impressed with the actual display quality. Now we have got a row of buttons along the side here. Uh, these include uh, a power button, uh, plus and minus. Now the plus and minus obviously do the volume for the internal speakers. We've also got a menu button and an input button. If we push the input button, we can cycle between the USB input and the two HDMI inputs. If we push the menu button, then we get the on-screen display in the center here, uh, which actually allows us to make all of the adjustments to the display. Now we've got the likes of brightness, contrast, uh, black level, eco mode, DCR and sharpness. We can also go down and change the uh, horizontal and vertical position, the clock phase and aspect and also color controls as well, which is really nice to see in a monitor like this. We've got color temperature and individual controls for red, green, and blue. We've got the on-screen display options. We've also got a reset, auto power down mode, and HDR mode. This does support HDR. And then we've got some low blue light modes and signal source, free sync, etc. So a really nice menu option uh, or, or set of menu options in there as well that you can change things very easily and get the display looking how you intend it to look. Now, if we look around the monitor in a bit more detail, we have also got on the left-hand side a micro USB input. And on the right-hand side, we've got the two HDMI inputs and USB-C. The additional USB-C is for if you wanna put ex external power into the monitor. And you do get a little USB uh, power brick inside the box. Uh, this has the added benefit of the monitor not drawing power from your laptop and actually delivering power and charging your internal laptop battery. And then when we power this down, if uh, we unplug everything, you'll see just how neat a solution this is. So we can take our cables out and then close this up and the stand that this was uh, standing up with acts as a cover for the screen to keep everything nice and uh, sort of compact and we've got a really good portable monitor solution. Now something I did forget to mention just very briefly is there is also a headphone output. So if you don't wanna use the internal speakers on here, maybe you wanna play some sort of private gaming, you can actually plug a pair of headphones into the monitor itself. This is a really great solution for a portable USB-C or HDMI external monitor, very slim line and it's just a, a great great product i'll leave links to where you can pick this up for yourself down in the video description please do check those out and i'll see you in another video very soon oh for those of you still watching 
don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. I publish a new tech video pretty much every single day.